All right, what the fuck is up? Uh, it's been about 400 years since I made a fucking video. So welcome back uh, to me and to, to you. Uh, this battery is actually just gonna be annoying, isn't it? Uh, I don't even know if this video is happening, bruv. Anyway, today, going to Scotland. Fucking <laughs> like, oh Jesus Christ. It's like 7.30. Uh, I'm about to leave Brighton. Obviously gotta get fuel first. I'm on the way to South London, like Croydon area, where Raza is, because obviously your boy can't drive two cars back. I didn't even say why the fuck I'm going to Scotland. I'm picking up a vert in Scotland. <sighs> Fucking long story, basically, but this is why this video is here, and I have to explain my longness. This guy's getting cut off. Sorry. Um, it's not cutting off, it's the real road rules, mate. Come on. Okay, let me jump on the motorway because I'm just in town now. Uh, I just wanted to start the video off and say what's up. Um, I will explain everything. It's just a long last drive, really, isn't it? So I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, shut up. Alright, okay, so fucking hell, bro. Fuck this morning, firstly. Monday mornings are actually whack as fuck. I hate them. Jesus. Okay, so it's 8.30 now, and I've just got on the motorway, and it's 10 minutes from my house to the motorway. Think about this. I went to the petrol station, I filled my shit up, you saw that, yeah? Next thing, I go into the car, I put the key in, you know, all the electric shit starts coming up. Oh my god, get the fuck out of here. Another, what? No way, oh, holy shit, look at this, the chances of this. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Yo! Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> oh shit! Man's on this thing. No way! That was the sickest shit ever! This morning is mental now! Yeah, yeah! Shit! Alright, I fucking calmed down. I'm at the fucking average speed bit now, and I'm pretty sure as we speak, I'm getting a flat. I'm feeling it start to vibrate, and in a second, it's gonna start smelling like tire a lot, and the whole car is gonna start wobbling, and I'm gonna be stuck on the side of the motorway with a flat, because I already put my spare tire on, because I already got a flat as soon as I left Brighton. I'm on the way up to Croydon to pick up Raza, like I was saying, and he said that there's tire shops open in his area that would do tires for me. Now, we were supposed, I was supposed to be basically at Raza's already, and we're supposed to have been making our way to Scotland, but your boy, about to be stuck on the M23, uh, already an hour late, you feel me? So. Um, this morning has started off really shittily because after I filled up fuel, I put the key in and you know how all the electric, like the steering wheel comes up and the antenna starts going up. All of a sudden out of nowhere, it just cuts out the entire thing. There's no lights, there's no electricity in the entire car. So I'm like, all right, well, fucking cool. That means that, you know, need to fucking you know, unplug and plug the battery back in because that will um, reset the whole thing and give it power again. Uh, so, uh, by the way, the tire's cool for now, obviously, knock on wood. Um, then, uh, obviously, because when you fucking disconnect the battery, the car forgets itself and it forgets its key. So it won't start because immobilizer and alarm which is a fucking common problem with this car. It's always like that. Anytime anything happens with the battery, if, if the battery gets disconnected, the whole, like, I need to repair the key to the car every time. And I don't know how to do it. So I'm just guessing and like locking and unlocking the car and fucking putting it in ignition and on and off like a million times. 
until the key decides that it's um, it's gonna know that the car it's itself, you know. And then fucking yeah, got on the motorway and got a flat like instantly. Ah, uh, long. So this morning has been fucked so far, but I am determined, and I am going to get to Scotland to pick up this fucking fur. Yeah. So this was happening. I'm gonna let you lot know about the actual fur itself a bit later on. So far, had a fucked up morning, and this car is just being a bit annoying. But it's my babes. And I'm really thinking about doing an NAT build after seeing that and also after watching her. But he's doing a GT swap now, so I don't know. So we stopped off, just fueled up for the second time. I didn't film the whole fucking nozzle shit because I already did that in it. We're uh, near Carlisle. Carlisle. We're at the Lake, lake District, basically. Lake District. So all that was the Lake District. Oh, that's why it was so beautiful, yeah. of course. Um, but yeah, fucking this is... We, have we got Raza actually, I never fucking said in the video, but we made it finally after all of that bullshit in the morning. Oh well, yeah, yeah, we yeah. changed the tyres too. Um, I'll show you actually. To be fair, there's a couple of things I need to show already, innit? Yeah. It's, been, it's been a long day, it's <laughs> fucking 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock, but it's Okay, so I've got two 45, 35 Pirellis now on the back. The con I, if I'm bothered, I'll overlay a photo of the fucking contact patch that I have on my tyres. Yeah. It's like literally this much of a of a two fucking fifty five I had. What? What's the point? So um, yeah, this is the car. Now, what I really wanted to fucking show you is the fucking exhaust. Do you want to film while I give the little yeah. uh, little wrap? Oh my god, it's like falling off because I scraped it too many times. It's like still attached, which is cool. Oh, this one in. No, oh, that must be it. Whoopsie. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we'll give it a little fucking wrap because it sounds good. <laughs> That's what my shit sounds like now. That's so funny. Just from being stance boy and low. <laughs> yes. Uh, smells richer now as well. Huh? It smells rich. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> fucking up my fuel economy, but oh well. It's getting like 31 MPGs now, yeah, which is sick. Well. It's, the, it's the best it's ever done. Good car, it's meant to wait time. All right, so it's fucking 11.20. We just had like a quick thing, power nap, yeah. like a 30 second one, because neither of us really slept that much last night. This is the car we just picked up. Fucking 318 vert. Obviously, it's dark, so fuck that. But you can kind of see, we're gonna do a little walk around thing tomorrow in, in the sunlight, probably. Or maybe this morning, because yeah. oh, what the fuck time are we getting back? And Reg. Fucked up top hat mount on the right here, but that's like the only thing that's really fucked up with it because of the fucked up top mount. Tell them. So when you're just driving on the road, it's just like, it's just like trying to rip the steering wheel out of your hand, Fuck. and then it's just smooth for like 20 miles, and then it starts. That's probably the again. the fucking. That's probably the wheels on balance, isn't it? Yeah. But because of the top mount like that, it's squatting to the right and it's pulling yeah. you as well, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's a bit crusty, but you know what? It's a good deal. And if I decide to sell it, maybe definitely didn't buy it to sell or anything like that. Uh, it's um, it'll be cute because it's a good investment, good uh, good deal. And it's a fucking vert, and it's summertime. Well, right now it's cold as shit, but it's fucking oh fuck, bare cold all of a sudden. Yeah, fuck that. So yeah, fucking gonna go drive now. Peace. So yeah, this is it. <laughs> Yeah, it's got some crazy interior. It's like an inverted light interior. There's some dog barking who loves me, so that's that noise. And I'm next to a main road, so just excuse that. But I'm just gonna show you what's up with the car because I don't think that I showed that anyway. It's a bit mental. I haven't actually slept properly within the last 48 hours. It's been about probably me and Raza, both of us together, have two hours of sleep between both of us. Um, between both of us, did I say that? Since <laughs> since leaving at 7:30. Not this morning, but the morning before. So this is the interior. It's like black leather seats and black leather sort of accents. And well, I need to clean that. Um, and then it's two tone. It's like fucking gray or whatever. I don't even know. And the outside of the door card material is gray. And the inside is like black leather. It's kind of crazy. 
and it carries throughout the whole car you know it's not like they change the interior out or anything uh it's got a black soft top as well which is automatic and works um it does but it's a bit it's old in it from 1995 and reg 318 so 318 you guessed it it's the single cam it's the most beautiful one um you guys know that i love those engines and i think that they just should have not even bothered making the straight six option just should have left them with the four pot one eights don't even bother with the actually maybe the dual cam can be like the m3 model but one six one eight single cam all these fucking cars need man they drive so much better with four parts in them um yeah it's fucking it's boston green dude there's some traffic and it's so annoying so it's boston green it has a little bit of rust and crust tiny little bits you know a little bit here you know um where else like here you know a tiny bit like the tiniest little spots like here but look in reality this is so blessed because if you compare it to my coupe which i thought was a good fucking example of an e36 um this is the best thing that's ever existed yeah there's no rust or crust on like the chassis itself i think one of the jacking points has been welded but it looks like it's been done properly um and yeah i don't know what else man it's got these trash little fucking whatever 15s that all bmw's come with they're super ugly uh and then yeah so there's an issue with the front right oh yeah why are the grills missing because the bonnet fucking cable is like fucked up so i need to look at that and see what's up because obviously you need to be able to pop the bonnet to show whoever i'm selling it to you the sexiness of the 18 fucking what do you call it single cam cool that's one problem is the fucking bonnet cable second problem is the fucking spring um like i really don't think you lot can actually see it yeah i'm gonna try what do you even see in there probably nothing let me try and put a light in there as well okay i really don't know what you lot can see but but I'm hoping that it is a snapped spring. Wow, hooray. The car is like leaning onto the front right, which makes it drive like complete ass. And it's really annoying because stock E36 drive beautifully. So I really want to enjoy it stock before I have to put coilovers on it because I'm doing that anyway. I just wish that I, I might have had my hand on a microphone. I wish that I could drive it stock and normal before I have to put a coilovers. Oh yeah, I think the caliper, front right caliper is like, seized or like stuck or it's just being not working properly um so i need to look at that or maybe the disc is warped i don't know something's going on with the front right brake because as well as uh the car pulling because of the snap spring it is also pulling because of like a stuck caliper and it's annoying and trash there's a couple of little things that i need to fix on this which is quite I'm not too happy about that because I went all the way to Scotland to get a deal on a good E36. I still got it for like half market value, probably, probably even even less than uh, half. That makes sense. It's a good car. Interior is beautiful. Not really anything messed up with it. Just one of the little door cuts is kind of like coming off, which is normal. You know, E36 things. Gearbox is beautiful. Diff engine, everything's banging. Uh, I didn't overheat. Uh, it didn't do any bullshit it drove perfectly fine it's just the suspension is a little bit off so obviously your boy is a suspension master so i'm gonna sort that out switch the brake maybe maybe i'll do um maybe i'll take the caliper out and move the pads and see if i can like clean it or something um because i remember vaso did that um and it was quite like simple looking maybe i'm an idiot i probably am an idiot and it's not simple uh but anyway I'm, i might ask him if I can't find a new one and maybe I'll just buy new discs. I don't know uh, because it needs discs anyway because the front left is like grooved to shit. But this is what is up. This is what is going on. That's this video, isn't it? The vert is here. Welcome home.